uh, San Quentin. For what? Okay, that, okay basically, uh, I was arrested for what they call kiting checks back in those days. Okay. They don't call it that anymore. They call it false instruments now. Anyway. False what? Instruments. Okay. Okay, but anyway, I was kiting checks between several of my companies, and I had a about a 30-day gap there in order to get the projects done and get paid. Mm -hmm. And then the checks wouldn't bounce because they, they'd be that much leeway before they charge before. Okay, uh, right in the middle of about a uh, $50,000 float, uh, the whole thing literally fell apart. And I was picked up, originally arrested, I was over in Phoenix. I got picked up there. After a long flight over there, they extradited me to California. Uh, I pled guilty because I didn't want to see Deborah in trouble. I'm sorry, Claudia, my other wife in trouble. Claudia? Yeah, Claudia Jean Ferguson. She's uh, my ex-wife. Okay? Mm -hmm. So anyway, because of that then, I went to San Quentin. I went to San Quentin when I was about 31 years old. And I mean, I was a fish out of water. I mean, I was uh, very stupid. I didn't understand the game. Uh, I came within a hair of getting myself killed, shanked, stabbed, shot, one thing and another up there. And I finally, through God's will, uh, made it through it. I was in, uh, put on parole, and I was sent down here to Central California. I was picked up uh, at the airport by Patty Kapura who was my parole officer at the time. She still works at the department if you need a, somebody to back me up on that. And anyway, Patty uh, picked me up, took me to a motel, and kept me there for a couple of weeks, the Continental out on North Main Street. And um, then, because the buddy was getting short with the Department of Corrections, so they say, uh, she had me come on down to Soledad Street, and that's when I stayed at Dorothy's, or got to visit Dorothy's thing. And that's where yeah, I walked across Soledad Street, I met you, and we talked briefly uh, about you know, what was going on. How I had lost some prescription drugs that I really needed, and uh, some clothes and some other stuff.